Numgung Min is a South Korean actor who has received a lot of praise for his superb acting skills. He was famous for his villains, particularly in the dramas Remember and The Girl Who Sees Smells. After these chilling roles, it came as quite a surprise when the actor switched things up for some seriously lighthearted characters. His acting chops landed him back-to-back -back day sungs or grand prizes for his roles in Hot Stove League and The Veil. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Numgung Min. He comes from an engineering background. Numgun Min is the type of actor with the kind of talent that makes you think he was born for his current career. However, he comes from a STEM background, having graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering from Chungang University. He has said that his choice of major was influenced by his father who was a school principal. He once talked about a time his mother had scoffed at him. He shared, I still can't forget the look on my mother's face when I told her I was going to audition to become an actor. She told me, yes yeah, sure, you can go ahead and try, but only special people can become actors. I know you're my own son, but you're not a special person. He then expressed that his mother's words had actually stimulated him. Many may not know that the actor made his debut in 2003, but didn't get his big break until Good Manager in 2017. Ever since then, he has achieved a slew of hit dramas such as Dr. Prisoner, Hot Stove League, and One Dollar Lawyer, and in the process, become one of South Korea's most bankable actors. He bulked up in order to play a role in The Veil. Some actors are known for the level of commitment they are willing to give to the characters they portray. This can include anything, including changing their look, putting on muscle, or dieting. In the case of Numgung Min, the latter is true for the 2021 drama The Veil, where the actor has shown just how committed he is to his job. In order to successfully portray National Intelligence Service agent Hun ji Yok, Numgung Min gained over 10 kilograms, approximately 22 pounds, by working out. He said in a press conference for the drama, I first decided on bulking up after meeting the writer for the first time. This character is mostly focused on revenge and punishment, so he's always on the attack. I wanted to give him the feeling that he couldn't be easily approached. He revealed that he had quit eating gluten in January of the year and been keeping a restricted diet of only carbs and protein to get into this impressive shape. He had even chosen to forego water for protein-based drinks. His daily workout routine involves three to four hours at the gym to maintain his new look. His psychotic role affected his real personality. In his 2016 drama Remember, he had us 200% convinced that he is the worst of all psychos we had seen in the history of K-dramas. And as thoroughly believable as Numgun Min's portrayal of the evil Num Yu Mun had been, the role did take a toll on the actor overall. He talked about a time the inner Num Yu Mun popped out when his manager made a small driving mistake. Once, my manager took a wrong turn. It wasn't his fault, the GPS told him to go that way. And it really isn't that big of a deal, you know? Everyone can make driving mistakes. But then I became numb you mun for a second there. I said, are you serious? What am I going to do with you? And numb you mun's tone of voice. It came out of nowhere, but I definitely didn't mean to say it that way. According to the actor, he was once considered to play the main model for a car commercial. Unfortunately, the opportunity was given to someone else because of a scene in the drama where he smashed a car with a golf club. Numgung Min also admitted that he struggled mentally while playing the role. Because his father who was a principal raised him with a proper set of morals, he has an incredibly difficult time getting his lines to come across naturally. He told Star today, no matter how many times you tell yourself you're only acting, there comes a point where you start to feel the evil of your actions. Thankfully, I felt no long-standing after-effects. He stylized his character on the undateables. Numbung Min is known as an actor who acts with a lot of calculations and detail. In the romance comedy series The Undateables, he played Kung Hoon Num, a relationship expert who doesn't believe in love. In the series, the actor is stealing viewers' hearts with his handsome appearance and great fashion sense. The surprising fact is that Kung Hoon Num's style is the result of the actor's ideas. It was revealed that even before the drama began filming, he analyzed the script and researched his character's style. In order to perfect it, he purchased a clothing himself or used items from his own closet. The actor also did this in his previous drama, Good Manager. He kept turning down offers that kept him out of work for two years. Numgung Min has over two decades of acting experience. Even though he got a breakthrough role through Good Manager in 2017, he picked the 2011 drama Listen to My Heart as his own turning point. 
He said, I got a lot of good responses about my acting. In terms of the response I felt, I think it was better than good manager. At that time, I got a lot of casting calls for supporting characters. I started thinking arrogantly that I could do better than that and refused five offers. So I ended up not working for two years. Then I realized that I can't act that way. As an actor, you can't only take on the roles that you think are cool and satisfy just yourself. He reflected on his new changed attitude, saying, even a knife has to be ground down to become sharp. I realized that I had to build up my filmography slowly but surely. He underwent LASIK eye surgery. The actor debuted in 2001 through the film Bungie Jumping of Their Own and had been called Little Bae Young Joon during those times. He remarked to Entertainment Weekly, in a way, I liked it, but on the other hand, I also thought that I'd have to shed that image to really take off as an actor. He then revealed that he underwent LASIK eye surgery at the suggestion of a director, saying, while working on a project, the director suggested, if you take off your glasses, you'll have an image of your own, so how about taking them off? That's how I came to take off my glasses. The actor then called himself a first-generation LASIK surgery patient in Korea and commented that it was so painful back then. He has two herniated discs in his spine. Numgung Min revealed that he has to keep exercising because he has two herniated discs in his spine. If he doesn't exercise, it's so painful that it's unbearable. He continued, I have gym equipment at home. No matter how late filming ends, I will do deadlifts before I sleep. When there's no filming, I exercise once every two days. But if there's filming, like now, I hardly exercise. I just work out for about 10 to 15 minutes before erasing my makeup. He can't cook even as simple as making ramyeon. When he appeared in My Ugly Duckling, Namgung Min said that he doesn't know how to do much else apart from acting, including making ramyeon, Korean-style instant noodles. He said, when I lived with my younger brother, it wasn't that I tried to order him around. But when I cook, even if it's just ramyeon, it tastes bland and bad. I once followed the instructions exactly, and it still tasted bad. He keeps a record of his physical and emotional condition. Even at this point in his life as a well-known and critically acclaimed actor, he continues to practice and learn more about acting by writing notes. He said, even for my most recent drama, I had a lot of notes. I think about how to express things so that it feels real and not like acting. If I can immerse myself in those feelings, it comes naturally, but there are cases when I can't. That's why I keep a record of my physical and emotional condition. He met his wife on his directorial debut project. In October 2022, Numgung Min married model Jin Aram after dating for seven years. They first met as director and actress through the 2015 film Light My Fire, Numgung Min's directorial debut project. In her appearance on Happy Together, Jin Aram was asked who showed interest first, and she said Numgung Min did so by asking her many personal questions about her siblings and if she had a boyfriend. She added, I didn't have any interest in him at all. It was burdensome. He continued to contact me to see me again. But he turned out to be honest, straightforward, and innocent, so I began to open up. Jin Aram also said that Numgung Min has a strong evil image because of his villain roles, but he's very cute and innocent in real life.